The Space Flyer Unit was a spacecraft which was launched by Japan on March 18, 1995. Technical data The Space Flyer Unit was launched from Tanegashima Space Center from AH-2 vehicle. It was carrying testing materials and research data that held value to NASA. They retrieved the data from the Space Flyer Unit by Space Shuttle Endeavour on January 20, 1996 which was 10 months after the Space Flyer Unit was launched. The idea behind the implementation of the SFU was a joint effort by multiple major corporations. The ones that were involved with the launch were Institute of Space and Astronautical Science, the National Space Development Agency, and Ministry of International Trade and Industry. After the shuttle returns the SFU from space, the SFU is transported to Japan and refurbished for the next flight. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Purpose. The original purposes behind the SFU were to Allow researchers better access to space research conditions. Give researchers a group experimental facility. Be able to reuse the SFU to save money. Retrieve data. Topic. Technology A variety of systems that were operational within the SFU had never been implemented before. Equipment on board supported an infrared telescope, two-dimensional solar array, high-voltage solar array, space plasma diagnosis, electric propulsion, material experimentation, gas dynamics, gradient heating chemicals, isothermal heating furnace and more. The core system that was built into the SFU contained an octagonal aluminum truss. Inside of that were eight boxes of trapezoidal shape. The SFU was connected directly to the Kagoshima Space Center. Topic. Experimentation data There were a number of various types of experiments that were performed on board the SFU during its launch life cycle. Those experiments, and light data related to them are listed below. Infrared Telescope in Space The IRTS experiment was performed by the infrared telescope that was aboard the SFU. The intent was to produce important information into the history of the universe and structure of the Milky Way galaxy. The telescope had a superfluid helium cooling fan built into it to prevent it from overheating. 2D Array The 2D Array system was launched as a small module inside of the SFU. This experiment was deployed to show that large structures could in fact be built in space. HVSA The solar array was a power source put into this system to head up multiple experiments. It is used to test the creation of electricity in the denseness of space from the use of technology only. SPDP, this was used on the SFU to test things going really fast in space. SPDP stands for Space Plasma Diagnostic Package and it was deployed with different sensors to check the effects of speed on the denseness of gravity. EPEX, this hardware that was built into the SFU was meant to do experiments related to fuel creation and management in space. MEX, this software was meant to review and research the effects of various types of liquid within a space environment. BIO, this test involved observing Japanese fire belly newt eggs hatch in deep space. See also List of largest infrared telescopes References Topic. Further reading Kariki, Kiyoichi, Ninomiya, Kaiken, Takei, Mitsuru, Matsuoka, Shinobu 2002. Lessons Learned from the Space Flyer Unit SFU Mission. Acta Astronautica, 51 11, 797, doi, 10. 1016, S00945765020002-0026-7, PMID 12369586 External links ISAS data Data page